This is a KGUN 9 Now News Update. Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. A new mass vaccination site will be coming to Pima County later on this month. Governor Doug Ducey told KGA 9 that a 24-7 vaccination site will operate similar to the state farm stadium one and Phoenix Municipal Stadium site. Ducey says each site is capable of administering 12,000 doses a day through the limiting factor so far has been vaccine supply. Pima County will start expanding vaccine efforts next week. Those 70 and older are now being included in Group 1B. Those who qualify can start registering for appointments on Monday. Group 1B also includes educators and those employed in protective services. Remember, you can call the number on your screen here to sign up. Lines are open from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. You can also register online. The Pima County Health Department says schools should not use the vaccine criteria to determine whether campuses reopen. But Tucson Unified's superintendent says he disagrees with this. Gabriel Trujillo's reaction comes on the heels of six deaths since the Christmas break. That includes four employees in five days the last week of January. He says they all contracted the virus outside of school. This morning we're learning that Amphi schools will return to hybrid mode on the 15th. The superintendent says that right now about 60% of its certified staff have had or are scheduled to have their first vaccine in the near future. In surveys, the board sent out to families and teachers. It found that 40% of parents want to go back to fully in-person learning versus only 19% of teachers. The Arizona Interscholastic Association is reversing its policy banning parents for players on visiting teams at games. This comes after a Chandler teen here wound up in the hospital during the soccer game. His parents watched the horrifying ordeal online, unable to comfort their 15 year old son. More than 3000 signatures were gathered to ask the policy to be reconsidered. Last night, the AIA voted to loosen restrictions and allow two parents per athlete to attend away games. All right, let's take a look at your forecast as we head into the weekend. Cooler today with lots of sunshine. Expect some gusty winds tonight through Saturday and warmer temps for the weekend. Sunday will be back in the mid 70s with less wind, which will be perfect for any outdoor football parties you may be having. We'll stay dry with highs in the 70s through early next week.